The WWE Super Show is this Sunday, October 15th at the Great Southern Bank Arena. And joining me now is WWE Superstar Grayson Waller. Grayson, thank you so much for coming on our show. You're welcome. I'm very, very excited. This is going to be my first time in Springfield, Missouri Sunday. It's going to be a huge, huge afternoon, a huge show, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, I hope you enjoy Springfield. Some things that people always love here is our cashew chicken and our Andy's uh, frozen custard. So remember those things. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this down on my, my phone because every time I go to new places, I never know what to do. So I appreciate you giving me a little insight. <laughs> oh, I'm full of tips. Okay, so first of all, let's start here. What is a WWE sh uh, super show? Like, how is that different from other events that you do? Well, the exciting thing about the Super Show is, is you know, this this is a live event. This isn't for a TV audience. We're there for the people who are in attendance. We're there for the uh, the arena. Uh, and with the Super Show, you know, you're not just going to see people from Raw. You're not just going to see people from SmackDown. You're going to see both of the WWE rosters together on one show. And that's why you've got someone like Cody Rhodes, who is one of the biggest stars on Monday Night Raw. Then you've got Grayson Waller and LA Knight from SmackDown. It's a, it's one of the only chances you have to see all of the roster kind of interacting with each other. Yeah, okay, so who else is coming with you? Well, as I said, I know Cody and, uh, and LA are going to be there. I'm pretty sure Bobby Lashley, big Bobby Lashley is going to be there. If you haven't been to a live wrestling show before, seeing someone like Bobby Lashley in person, seeing how incredibly huge he is, now you understand what I have to do every week trying to fight these guys. <laughs> okay, so what are fans going to love most about this particular event? Well, I think they're definitely going to love Grayson Waller. The most. And that's, that's, that's not a question, you know. The Grayson Wall effect has taken over. This is going to be my first time, the first time for people in Springfield to actually see me perform live. And as good as I am on TV, I'm even better looking in person. So somehow there's tickets for $20 left um, for the show on Sunday, which I don't understand. Like, I, I don't understand how $20 can get you in to see Grayson Wall. I, I, that doesn't compute in my head. Um, but for the people of Springfield, they're very lucky. That's, the, that's what's happening. We are so lucky to be able to see you here in Springfield. So let's back way up. I want to know how you got into this world of professional wrestling. Uh, well, for me, I guess it's like a, a, a lot of wrestlers where I watched it growing up. So my mom would always take me to the shows. In Australia, we didn't get too many, but when WWE came live, we always went live. And that's what really made me love wrestling as a whole was going and seeing it live. And then uh, I did a lot of other things with my life. You know, I, was, I did reality TV. I did all these things. And uh, uh wrestled independently in Australia, but eventually WWE saw me uh, and brought me across. And I've been uh, in the WWE for, for about two and a half years now. And uh, there's no I'd rather be. When it comes to live entertainment, I don't think anything matches what we do. You know, you go to the movies, you sit there in silence and, and enjoy the show. But for us, we want you to come out and we want you to be as loud and lively as possible. Yeah, it sounds like a whole lot of fun to me. So in 2022, you won, what is it, the inaugural Iron Survival Challenge at NXT yes. Deadline. So what was it like to come out on top for that? Well, that, that was one of my, my first real big victories, and, and especially a match like that, for those who don't know, you know, there was five guys in it. It was 25 minutes. It was grueling. It was there was a lot going on, and I uh, and ended up winning that and, and got to do my first shoey on American TV. And for those who don't know the Australian culture, we, a, a shoey is basically drinking beer from the shoe that you've been wearing. So you can imagine after 25 minutes of fighting, might not have been the most san sanitary thing to do, but uh, as an Australian, it was a very proud moment for me. I think at that point, you probably don't even care what it tastes like, even if there's a little bit of foot taste in that, huh? No, if, if anything, that kind of adds to it, you know, that <laughs> it somehow makes it a little bit better. I love it. Okay, what is it like to have this like a whole arena full of people chanting your name? Well, to be honest, I, I'm not really sure. For some reason, uh, the WWE crowds don't seem to like me. So instead of saying my name, usually it's it's, it's booing. It's 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 <laughs> saying really horrible things. And for me, I love that. You know, a lot of people dream of having people chanting your name. I'm the opposite. I, I wake up in the morning and I look forward to, you know, making the six-year-old in the front row cry. I look forward to making grandma in the second row. I look forward to making her angry. I want her to try and get over the guardrail and fight me. Uh, so for me, personally, it's a little bit different than most people, but uh, I look forward to having a lot of the people in Springfield hating me on, on Sunday afternoon. Okay, that's really fun on a lot of levels. Um, we are really big Survivor fans around here, and I know that you were on the Australian Survivor in 2019. What was that experience like? It, I always tell people it sucked. It, it, it was not fun. Um, as a life experience, it was great, though. You know, the, there's no TV magic with Survivor. The cameras don't disappear, and all of a sudden, they bring out a three-course meal. So it was 30 days of being cold, being wet, 
no food, that type of thing. But uh, for me personally, it was a great life experience. I enjoyed it. And if you're a Survivor fan, it's led to me getting to meet a lot of my heroes being a Survivor fan myself, you know. So uh, now that I live here in the States, I've got to meet Boston Rob. I've got to meet Sandra. I've got to meet some of the greats of the game. Uh, and I don't think that would have happened if I, if I didn't spend 30 days of misery uh, in Fiji. So is it something that you would do again or not? The, this worries me because it says a lot about me as a person, but I definitely would. I definitely would go back. Um, there's just something about, you know, competing out there too and doing the, the challenges were my favorite part. Uh, so for someone who's super competitive, um, doing all those, I really miss doing those. But I, I, I would definitely do it again. And I assume on day three, I would completely regret my decision and, and not like myself for, for doing it again. But it, how many chances do you get to go out and, and, and do that, especially as a Survivor fan? Listen, I see eye to eye on that. I love good competition and I get pretty competitive myself. So one more time, we can catch you this Sunday here in Springfield at the Great Southern Bank Arena. What message do you want to leave fans with as we look forward to Sunday? Well, you know, I, I know in Springfield, you know, there's, there's not too many good looking people. So for the opportunity to come out and see someone like myself, th th this is a real treat. And if you are a WWE fan, even if you're not live, professional wrestling there is nothing better and we as i said we've got cody rhodes we've got bobby lashley we've got la knight we've got becky lynch we have the biggest names in the wwe going to be there on, on sunday and it's going to be a great show well we really look forward to you making springfield more beautiful for us so thanks so much for taking the time to talk to me grayson i hope everything goes really well for you this weekend appreciate you see you sunday hey.